Now that the hype around New Year's is over, let's talk motivation. Whether you're someone who believes in setting New Year resolutions or not, you cannot deny the fact that there is this collective energy and excitement around New Year's. There's this excitement and new hope of new beginnings. We're ready to let go of the past, learn from our mistakes, forget all the regrets and look ahead, start afresh with those new set of eyes, looking for new opportunities and bring in all the success that you've been working for. Woo! That energy is awesome. I always want to tap into that energy and set beautiful goals and work towards it. But usually by the end of the month, the energy starts to fade down. I don't want that energy decline this year. I really want to put in tiny consistent steps every day, do my best that I can so that I just keep myself going and work towards my goals. How much ever the progress I do, that is good enough for me as long as I'm progressing in the right direction. The beginning of the month is awesome, right? You have so much motivation and that collective energy around and slowly everyone starts getting busy into their own lives and some of us stay on that wagon and get things going and many of us just blame it all on motivation. There were two types of motivation that I always knew existed. One was internal motivation and one was external motivation. Internal motivation is when you enjoy the process of doing some things, you don't care about the results. You're just very happy with the process and you just continue doing that and you're internally motivated to just go ahead and do the things that you love doing and the result will follow. Whereas external motivation comes from your results. When you are putting in your steps and you're seeing small results every now and then you hold on to those results wanting to get better results and that result is what motivates you this was something i knew and i knew that i'm more of an internal motivation kind of person who loves enjoying doing those little steps loves the process and get going and that's what keeps me going and now the other set that has just opened up for me is three kinds of motivation one is the motivation before you do something one is the motivation you get during the task that you're doing and one is the motivation that you get after the task has been completed wow first is the motivation before you do a task right that is when you're all excited and energized to go ahead and do a task that you know is going to be good for you with this motivation you have so much energy to go ahead and complete the task and that lasts for a few days yes you can do a great job but after a few days there is a very good chance that this motivation can die down especially if it's a repeated task that you have to do every day for example working out or being on a diet so having this motivation before you do a task is not something you can constantly rely on because it can fade the next type of motivation is during the task. Let's say you have to go for your walk, which you've committed to doing every day, and you do not have the motivation to go for the walk. So the motivation before going for the walk is not there today. So what you decide is you're going to get ready anyway. Even if you don't choose to go for the walk, you're going to wear your workout clothes and just sit in your workout clothes for five minutes. Now, while getting ready, you can be super motivated and you decide, you know what, I'm ready anyway. I might as well go for the walk. This is the motivation that exists during your task. And now in a scenario when you did not have the motivation to go for your walk, you did not even feel that motivation while walking, but you went for the walk anyway. And after that walk, you feel so energized, so amazing, feel so good in your body, and that motivates you to keep going. Now, that motivation is what comes after you have performed your task. And this motivation that you get at the end of it, when you have actually completed your walk, that energy is unmatchable, right? See how there are so many levels of motivation, but we actually wait for that one type, which comes before doing a task and it doesn't show up regularly, consistently. And we give up on our dreams because we're so lazy or we're so comfortable in our own comfort zone and our subconscious mind is not letting us change because it thinks something scary is going to happen. When actually only thing you have to do is go ahead and do the task anyway because that is what will keep you going. That is what will build your confidence. That is what will motivate you better. That is what will bring out the best in you and make you better and better at what you're doing and you'll start seeing the results. So this is how I want to do things, I think. First is break my goal into tiny little possible action steps that I can take regularly, consistently so that I don't give up on myself. So the motivation comes from the process of just staying committed. As I see slow, tiny results, whenever that comes up, I'm going to hold on to those results. So that is external motivation. And if while performing those everyday tasks, I'm not going to give my best, I'm just going to stick with it anyway, because I know that once I complete the task, that motivation is going to be unmatchable. Taking my YouTube example again, where I want to show up consistently and make videos every day or as often as possible. Today was a day where the light isn't good at all because it's a stormy, windy day. And my mind was giving me all excuses why it's a good idea to skip. And I almost wasn't motivated enough to make the video also because the light was really bad. But I decided that 
I have committed to myself. Let me just keep it going. Let's see what happens. That's when I switched on the light and this is a different vibe, different ambience. Don't you think? Don't answer that. The point is to just show up, do all you can, give your best. It doesn't have to matter how perfect it is. Just keep going. Every little step matters, right? Say on your fitness journey, that extra bite you didn't take after you were full or you chose to not eat that chocolate extra bite because you know it's not good for you or you just chose to walk that extra one mile today or even 15 extra steps today. Everything is helping you. You don't even know it. All you have to do is stay committed, stay focused and just give it your all. And when you put in that kind of effort, when you're not giving excuses, you're not waiting for motivation, you're not waiting for your results, you're not waiting for somebody to tell you how good you are at your craft and you just keep going, success has no other choice but to follow you.